I'm so hungry. I've been thinking about some of this food all morning. Hey guys, we're here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The last time that we were here, we had an incredible day, but we had to walk by a ton of amazing looking food that you guys suggested. So we're back here today to try it all. I am so excited. Some of this stuff looks and sounds incredible. Let's go eat. The weather is absolutely gorgeous today. It's been super hot for the last week, so this is really, really nice. But our first stop is here at the Trolley Car Cafe. This gigantic thing is a carrot cake whoopie pie. So I guess we didn't realize that the Trolley Car Cafe is just Starbucks, but they do have some like special pastry items like this. This thing is massive. Like I feel like it's the size of my face. Also the cake is super like squishy and sticky. I pulled it out to get some video of it. So it's probably gonna be delicious. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, this is really good. Um, it, it does have, I guess, shreds of carrot in it, which is carrot cake, like not shocking. So the texture for me is a little strange, but the, the taste is so good. It's very cinnamony, and I feel like you don't even need the icing in the middle. Like the cake is just delicious. It's almost kind of like a, a pound cake with how sweet it is. Mmm. Very, very good. I love carrot cake. Um, <laughs> I don't get it often enough. It is falling apart. I yeah. see what you're talking about. Like very... Sticky. Squishy, yeah. <laughs> Sticky. That's a great way to describe it. Mm, yeah. Oh, the cream cheese frosting is so good. It's very cream cheesy. Oh, it is so good. This thing is light, is heavy, and like squishy as it feels. I've probably got stuff all over my face. That's okay. <laughs> it's extremely light. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I could eat this whole thing. Uh, I think it's $4.99. Yeah. Seems like a pretty good deal. I can't believe how fresh it tastes. Yeah. It tastes like it was made minutes ago. It's still kind of warm. Uh, it was just sitting there in the cooler too when you picked it up, <laughs> but it's still kind of warm. This is awesome. This part of the park just has all the best vibes in the world. I love it so much. I know, I really want to ride Tower of Terror, but I think it's like a 90 minute wait and we got way too much food to eat for that. But I'm ready to get something savory. It smells so good and I'm so hungry. This is the Korean barbecue pork belly waffle bowl. So it's Korean barbecue pork belly on a bed of mashed potatoes with like coleslaw in a waffle bowl. I've never seen savory food like in a waffle bowl. So I'm super curious to see if it's as sweet as one would be for ice cream, but this looks amazing. Like look how gorgeous this thing is. All right, got, got to get a little bit of everything in there. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is so delicious. Like the sauce on the pork belly is so, so good. The mashed potatoes, I mean, they just like soak up the sauce, so they just taste like it too. This is incredible. Like, I might have to get this every time we come here. I'm just gonna take a bite of the waffle bowl. See how this is. It tastes like a waffle bowl with ice cream. That's a little strange. Um, I'm like, I need to get a bite of all of it, but it seems fragile, so I'm afraid if I like crack into it, the whole thing's just gonna go everywhere, but that tastes exactly like a waffle bowl that you would get ice cream in. <laughs> this is insanely good. It's so good. This is insanely good. So like the little crispy bits that you get from the coleslaw and mm -hmm. stuff, and the sauce is incredible, and then that pork belly just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. and the mashed potatoes just complement it So all. the mashed potatoes, I thought that was like a weird, I thought that'd be weird because mashed potatoes, I don't really think of mashed potatoes when I think about, I get like <clears throat> Asian style food. Mm -hmm. Goes perfect. Goes perfect with it. I haven't had any of the, uh, the bowl yet, but <laughs> everything else, 10 out of 10. This is so good. Okay, so earlier I was talking with my stomach and my tongue <laughs> because that thing is delicious. It gets a 10 out of 10 for taste, but we paid $15.75 for that yeah. bowl and it only had four pieces of pork belly like one of them was really big the one that Tyler ate but I don't know that the, thief. <laughs> I don't know that the value is necessarily there for that although it tastes I would delicious still it again. yes like, and, I would still let them rob me and get it again it's fine and we also tried it with the waffle bowl uh, and it was really good like the sweetness wasn't weird because the barbecue sauce itself is sweet so it just added texture I think it's delicious you know what I just realized that makes me sad? What? Those statue things are only here for the 50th. 
So like they'll be gone in a couple weeks. Oh, that makes me sad because like the whole time that we've been coming to Disney, they've been here. Yeah. So like it just like it just hit me because I saw the the little emblem on the side. I don't like it. This is the Frozen Mystic Portal Punch from Woody's Lunchbox. I think I got that right. Yep, you did. <laughs> I got the the head nod. It is correct. It's green. Uh, I don't even know what flavors it is. Me uh, it's portal flavor. Mystic. I love a slushy too. <laughs> like I'm a big kid at heart, and I love slushies. It's very refreshing. As as beautiful as the weather was earlier, it has started to unfortunately get a little hot uh, this afternoon. And this hits the spot. Look at the little cup. So cute. Got like Dumbo and Figment, everyone. I really can't figure out what flavors it is. It's a little watery, and it may just because it's sitting here melting. We were getting footage. I don't know. Oh, hey, Buzz. Uh, lime and portal. Portal. That's it. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it doesn't have a really strong flavor like most slushies do. It tastes more like a like a frozen Gatorade or something, but the flavor's good. But I need you guys to settle a debate for us. So we put on our story about like the waffle bowl that we just had and how it was absolutely delicious. And we had a friend text us and was like, oh my gosh, like everybody at Disney hates those. Those things are terrible. So like, let us know down below. Do we just get like the best waffle bowl that's ever come out of that place? Or do y'all actually think they're good? here that was amazing we just saw Chewy again I was like three feet from him he even did his little like bah, whatever he did I can't do a sound but he did it I mean that was so cool but you guys have sent us here because uh, there are two drinks that we apparently need to try and no neither one of them are milk uh, kind of happy about that but I don't know my day's made kind of loud in here but we're here at Docking Bay 7. We've never been in here before and it is absolutely incredible. The theming is just floor to ceiling like so impressive. I don't know what these little pod things are that they have but you can actually like sit inside of them like some of the tables are inside of them. It is so cool but the drink that we got is the Moof juice. Uh, not to be confused for the Moose juice uh, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay. That is delicious. It's really kind of soft and subtle. It's not overly sweet. A lot of the time at theme parks, the drinks that you get are just straight sugar bombs and you like feel guilty drinking them and then they make your stomach hurt after that. This is really good. Like this is something that I could not only see myself drinking the entire thing of, but like coming back to get it again. We looked it up because I couldn't decide what I thought it tastes like. And apparently it's supposed to be a fruit punch with like orange juice, pineapple juice and then some sort of chipotle. I don't taste any spice at all. Um, I can kind of, I kind of get the pineapple juice. That's about all I get. You liked it, didn't you? I really like it. I think it's really good. It's just not very flavorful. It's like really light on flavor. And maybe I just want a little bit of a sugar bomb right now. <laughs> but this one's not my favorite so far. Like, did you like it better than the portal punch? Yeah, I thought it was really good. I like how light it is, personally. Mm. Give me the portal punch. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> this is the cold brew black calf. Is yeah, that right? You did it. Um, I don't, I don't know many things in the world. But I know I like cold brew coffee, and I know I like cereal. <laughs> so. My math and my deductive reasoning aren't the best in the world, but I would say I'm going to enjoy this. I was expecting it to be really sweet. Is it not? It's not sweet at all. I, I may have just gotten like all... Woo! Woo! Wake up, you know? Like, that, that was just like a jolt of pure coffee that I was not ready for. I've got it mixed in now. I'm going to... I'm gonna take a sip and get some Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> they call them like chocolate puffs, it's Cocoa Puffs, guys. Can't fool me, I know what this is. Interesting. I may start using coffee when I eat cereal. That's awesome. But they're not as soggy, 
Does coffee just not make Cocoa Puffs as soggy? There's an ice cube. That was weird. I like it. <laughs> I'm still laughing at your review of this. It was really funny. I wish I could have tried it before it was stirred in to see like how bitter it was. Okay, that's pretty bitter even after it's stirred in. Um, <laughs> You're just gonna start putting coffee in all your cereal? Oh, it's like You're making a mess. Cocoa Puffs are my new um, coffee mate. I just spilled one. Coffee right. mate, Cocoa Puffs. Mm. I've almost got a nice cube. It's too. good like that, isn't it? It's really good. It is. I'm shocked that they're not soggier too. Like, do they do something to these Cocoa Puffs to keep them from getting soggy? That's amazing. They might be anti-sugar in Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> yeah, uh, this isn't very sweet at all. Like, the Cocoa Puffs add sweetness, but, like, the <laughs> coffee itself, and I'm, a, like, I drink black coffee. Yeah. It's bitter. Yeah, if you're looking for a Frappuccino, this ain't it. This isn't it. <laughs> I haven't had Cocoa Puffs in years. Yeah, it's like, been a while. Cereal's cereal's one of those things that I love, but I just don't eat it. For, I, and also, I'm more of a Cocoa Pebbles guy myself. I was. <laughs> it just made me laugh. <laughs> Count Chocula is also great. I mean, they're just better. Oh god! <laughs> you don't want to get into the chocolate cereal debate with me. I mean, I would choose Cocoa Pebbles over Cocoa Puffs as well. Up next, we're at the Baseline Tap House. I am beyond excited. This is probably the thing I'm most excited for all day because they have a charcuterie board. And you may not have previously known this about me, but you're gonna know it now. I love cheese. I am a sucker for some cheese. And then they also have a strawberry hibiscus soda on tap. So. Score. Okay, I'm excessively happy right now. This looks amazing. Like, I don't really know what I expected, but I'm super, super excited to try all this. Like, all the cheeses look delicious. And this soda, like, it's so much darker than I expected it to look. I, like, this is gonna be so good. I just know it. So this is the strawberry hibiscus soda I was talking about. The color is absolutely gorgeous. Like I didn't expect it to be this dark, but I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, this, um, it reminds me of a Shirley Temple. So like Sprite with like the cherry, but instead of cherry, it's strawberry. This is so, so good. Very like Sprite based flavor. Oh, this is delicious. We should have like each gotten one of these. <laughs> gotta make me like a little bite. You gotta get some cheese. You gotta put it on a little cracker. You gotta get some meat. Oh. Very good. It's meat and cheese. I really don't know how you could go wrong. I wish there was like a description of what the different like cheeses are and stuff. I don't really know. I don't know if the sausages are different or the same, but this is also more food than I expected. It was $12.50. And I feel like this is a good amount of food on this plate. Normally, like, cheese platters are more expensive than that, and you don't get all that much. So I'm actually really impressed with this. Okay. I just took a sip of this. I just took another sip of it. You undersold this. It's so good. It's... And I know... I see what you're saying about Sprite, but it's, like, ten times more carbonated than Sprite. You guys probably know. McDonald's Sprite. You know how you get that like, <laughs> like it'll blow your head off. Crispy. You you, yeah, it's it's spicy. <laughs> this is so good. This is this is like our life. This is what we want every day. We're just like oh, like we'll just throw charcuterie boards together when we don't even have cheese or deli meat. It'd just be like a tortilla here and some meat there and a tomato there, and we're like look, we made a charcuterie board and. That's a taco, but that's what we like to do. That was insanely good. Yeah. Uh, that soda is going to, I don't, I don't want to say haunt my dreams, but I'll be craving that thing. <laughs> You're going to dream about like, it? I will want to come back over here every day for that. That was so good. It was so good, and I think the reason that it was so bubbly is because they have it on tap here, so it's not just like they're... You know, it's not like in a bottle or anything like that. Like, it's fresh out of the tap. But, like, I don't understand why there aren't more people here. Yeah, there, it wasn't, like, it wasn't busy at all. No, there was, like, maybe two people in front of me when I walked in to order that. Like, that place is delicious. I just want to come back here and, like, try the entire menu. 
I guess that's the original Star Wars ride. We still haven't had a chance to ride that, and we would today, but we got more food to get. But soon, Star Tours, soon. This is my happy food dance. So we've got to get food, and it makes me happy. So, somebody called me out the other day and said, I always just, anytime I dance, I just do like a little shoulder shuffle. I guess I need to learn some more dance moves. Holy cow. This is an insane amount of food. Like, this burger is massive. This Wookiee cookie, look at this thing. Oh my God, I'm super excited to try this. Like, Chewie's my favorite, so I gotta love this cookie, right? And then this, oh my gosh, look how much meat is on this. Like, I don't even know how I'm gonna go at it. It's gonna be so I'm, messy. I'm gonna let you go first, cause uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna use you as a test subject because you're gonna get messy. I'm wearing and white. I don't want to get on the camera. <laughs> Mama didn't raise no fool. <laughs> Gotta put a napkin down. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, this is so saucy. I'm excited. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, well, um, I'm a hot mess. After that, like it is all over my hands. I wipe my face off a little bit. That is delicious. It is very, very saucy, but in a good way. Like there's the barbecue sauce on the pork and then there's some kind of sauce with the coleslaw that just like complements it really well. Oh, this is so good. This is an insane amount of food, like I said, but golly, you just need like a knife and a fork to go at it. Cause I like, I guarantee I get some of this on my shirt at some point. There's one complaint. It's delicious. The bun needs like anti <laughs> soggy technology in it. Need some reinforcement. Yeah, somebody needs to come up with some anti soggy bread where it can't get soggy. Anna's sitting here eating this thing, looking around to make sure nobody's watching her. And I feel that this is 100% one of those things that um, I wouldn't want to. You would never get this on the first day. Like if you're bringing <laughs> if you're bringing someone to Hollywood Studios and you're like, hey, I think I want to date you. Don't get this. Make them get this, but don't get this. <laughs> Guys, I was being stalked by a squirrel. It was giving me the most menacing look ever. It was just like in that tree right behind It'll me. It'll be on your forehead here in a minute. I'm kind of scared. Like, it's probably going to take the rest of this burger from us. Before you try this and before I try the, this, uh -huh. we have to make a pack. Okay. If we like it, we don't say that we like it. We just do a... <laughs> A Wookiee sound. Oh, God. Deal? Deal. I'm sorry for this, guys. Here we go. It's thick. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. I don't do it. I don't know how to do it. There are things that are worth living for in life. And <laughs> that was one of them. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know what. I just want to take a big old bite. You just gotta get in there. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're done with the shenanigans, um, it's it's. You've had a little Debbie, or at least I hope you've had a little Debbie oatmeal cream pie. This is just a giant, really good version of that. The cookie's a little more dense, and the the cream's sweeter. The mm. cream is extremely sweet, but the oatmeal cookie kind of balances it out. You can never go wrong with this. I, I, no, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> we hung out for a few minutes after eating. The sun came out. The squirrel didn't kill us it's a good day <laughs> didn't come for our food i'd forgotten about the squirrel i'm not gonna lie but yeah that was uh that was a little bit intimidating i guess it's time to um go get more food i guess we're gonna come back sometime and ride mickey and minnie's runaway railway like we still haven't gotten to do that because we got evacuated out of the queue last time is the buffalo chicken grilled cheese from the ABC commissary. When this got suggested, 
I'll be honest, I've never heard of a buffalo chicken grilled cheese. And now I am beyond excited. <laughs> I love that it comes with extra buffalo sauce. That's what you gotta do with it. So you know how like a normal grilled cheese is really good when you dip it in tomato soup? Mm -hmm. Like I love having tomato soup with my grilled cheese. Even though we live in Florida now and it's 6,000 degrees all the time. There was a few days this winter where we got to have some tomato soup and grilled cheese and it was one of my favorites. I've never thought about dipping it in buffalo sauce. I don't know if we were late picking up I wish it was a little more gooey. Mm -hmm. Like we tried to pull it apart and get the cheese stretched because that's always the best part and we didn't really see that. But the sauce is, the sauce is like my style. I like a hot buffalo sauce. It's pretty spicy. I'm okay with it being spicy. What I don't like about buffalo sauce is when it's really vinegary. So as long as there's not a strong vinegar flavor, I'll be okay with it. Mm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good as is. Let's try it dip. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh God. Too much of the vinegar twang. I like the heat. I like the heat that comes from it, but it's too like soury. Mm. I'll prefer it. I'll, I'll take it without the sauce. <laughs> Can we talk about the fries though? They're great. The fries are probably better than the sandwich. Oh, they're so salty too. Like, the fries are insanely good. They're salty in the best way. Like I hate when fries aren't salty enough. And most of the time, like the big fries, mm -hmm. like so the big thick fries like that, they don't ever have enough salt on them. No, these are really, really good french fries. I've finally figured out the secret to fountain drinks at Disney. So what you gotta do is you gotta find a restaurant where you physically see the self-serve like fountain machine and then buy a cup because that's how you know that you'll actually be able to get refills. If you know, you know. That was supposed to be the last food item for the day, but both of our mouths are on fire from that buffalo sauce. Let's go get a milkshake. They're so tiny, they're so cute. This place is adorable. It feels like we stepped back into the 50s. Bummer, dude. <laughs> um, it seems to happen to us every time we come to Hollywood Studios, something goes wrong. Some of the information that we got was incorrect, and that's okay. Uh, people may have just not have visited in a long time. So they told us to go into, what was that place called? Uh, the Tune-In Lounge. The Tune-In Lounge. Uh, and it's just like a full service bar in there. People said you could go in there and get milkshakes. They haven't done that in almost three years, is what they said. So, no milkshake. We'll figure something else out. I did want to add, we didn't come over here the last time and this place is so cool. I saw the Who Framed Roger Rabbit sign. That movie was, a huge, like I used to watch that all the time when I was a kid. I know it's probably not like, the most kid-friendly uh, movie, but the the cartoon, I can't even, it's been so long since I've seen it. The cart, the bad guy, um, I, I don't remember his name. Is it the person who framed Roger Rabbit? <laughs> it's that guy. Um, <laughs> he used to terrify me. I remember having like nightmares about that guy, especially when he turns into, like he's got the crazy eyes. Okay, uh, I've gone on too long, but yeah, this place is cool. Judge Doom. That's right. Now I remember. Do you know who Judge Doom's played by? Not a clue. Doc! Christopher Lloyd. Okay, whatever, Anna. That's some warm fudge. We had to settle for just a normal ice cream sundae. Hot fudge. So. That's okay though. Mm -hmm. It's always, there's nothing wrong with a normal hot fudge sundae. <laughs> Never has been. But today was great. Yes, it was. We had a lot of good food. Thank <laughs> you for all of the suggestions. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know what else we should do over here at Disney. Like, you know, we're, we're new. We don't know 
<laughs> what we need to try, the things that we need to do, let us know in the comments. But thanks for hanging out, guys. If you want to see our first time here at Hollywood Studios, make sure to check out this video right here. But we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.